So this is the DS1019 Plus by Synology. It's a five bay NAS, but is it any good? Well, it can do things like this, run 12 simultaneous streams of 1080p without a flicker of delay. Let's take a closer look. So when it comes to backup and data protection, there are certain names in the industry that you can definitely trust, and Synology are one of these. And if you're looking for an advanced storage network solution for your home or small office that supports dual-channel real-time 4K video transcoding with superb expandability, then you'll want to consider the DS1019 Plus by Synology. This is an ideal and versatile storage server that is brilliant for small businesses as well as advanced home users. Not only does this bring a scalable all-in-one server, it also comes with the versatility of built-in applications and a very easy to set up interface. Okay, so just some of the features of this Synology drive include an Intel Celeron quad-core processor, four or eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, built-in M.2 SSD slots, in fact there's two of them, and there's dual gigabyte LAN ports. Now this drive is scalable with an expandable option up to 10 drives. Now the housing on your Synology NAS is pleasantly designed to be tool free, so you can easily add your hard drives to it. And as you can expand this, you can start off with smaller storage and then get bigger as the need requires. So here for instance, I've started off with two four terabyte drives and as I need more storage, I can then add it into the remaining three slots. So you have the option of 3.5 inch drives or 2.5 inch drives. If you're using the 3.5 inch, then it's simple to just take the edges off of the bay, slot the hard drive in, and then put the edges back and you're ready to slot them back in. If you are, however, using a 2.5 inch drive, then you will need to use the screws that do come with the device. Another feature which we really like is the fact that it has two fans on the back and that makes the device operate very quietly. In fact, it's almost silent. Now, setting everything up is also really simple. Once you've plugged in the device to your router and you've turned it on, you just need to go to find.synology.com and then it will automatically find the device on your network. You can then just connect it and follow the simple steps to get it set up. You'll need to then create your administrator account. Now, you will need to set up an account with Synology, but once you've done that, it's very, very straightforward. Just put in your details and then make sure that you're signed in. The next stage will be to set your updates and maintenance. Now, we recommend that you do this automatically and again, set it for some time when you're not going to be using it. So do it a couple of days a week, maybe three days a week at a push and then set it for the middle of the night so that you know that nothing's going to happen because this does get updated very regularly for the latest firmware and updates and also security patches. So you've only got a couple of stages left now, just accept the terms of service and then it will be completely set up and ready to go. Now my friends, there is a video that I urge you to watch, it's from a guy called Lion, he does incredible setup videos for this drive and I'll leave that link in the description because he will walk you through this process. But this is the interface that you're presented with once you're all set up and this is where you can then do everything. You can create users, create volumes, create shared files and there's lots of different packages that you can install. So things like um, accessing your photos, you've got the photo station, you've got different moments that you can do. There's also third party applications like Plex, so you can set up a Plex multimedia server, but there's loads of videos that Lan's done about that, and you know they are very, very comprehensive. He goes into about 35, 40 minute detail, but I definitely urge you to watch that video. It's definitely worthwhile. So there are some offers on these drives at the moment, because it happens to be World Backup Day today, which is the 31st of March, and so therefore there are some promotions in March. So if you are watching this then, then check the links in the description because there are some promotions going on. But I'll leave all of the normal pricing guide for this in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. But my friends, this will transform your life if you use it correctly. It is an incredible piece of technology. I urge you to read a little bit more about it, but thanks as always for watching this video and I will see you on the next.